If you like to save things into your notes from email, I've got a couple of tricks here that are going to help you out. I'm going to cover two ways that you can save something directly from an email into your Reflect Notes. The first one is going to use our Chrome extension directly from the Chrome browser here. And the second one is actually something I've covered already. We're going to set up a Zapier Zap that sets up a unique email that you can forward or send any email to, and the contents of that email will appear in your Reflect Notes. Both of these have upsides and downsides. I do think it's worth having both sort of in your arsenal to save so that you're ready anytime. The nice thing about the Chrome extension is that you can just sort of do it right in the email. You don't have to set up any zap or forward any email. And it just works like saving any other website, which is kind of nice. The downside is that you have to do it on desktop. It doesn't work on uh, your mobile phone because you can't access the Chrome extension on iPhone. Now, the Zapier app is nice because you can send it on your mobile phone. Is anywhere that you can send an email to, whether forwarding or sending a new email on desktop or your phone, you can do that easily. And that's really, really nice. It's also nice that Zapier has recently, I think they eliminated the payment restrictions for this. So it, this is vastly cheaper, if not free now to do through Zapier. And, you know, there are some downsides to the Zapier one too, though. It is kind of annoying to have to set up the email you're going to want to make sure that you keep that email private because anyone that has email will be able to forward anything or send anything directly into your Reflect Notes. And so you'll see here in this uh, video, I just have a demo one set up in that year that's not turned on because uh, I don't want people being able to send things into my notes. So you're just going to have to choose which one works the best for you. I think just give each one a try and see how they feel. So let's start with the Chrome extension email one. I'm first going to click on the print button. And we're not actually going to print it. Don't worry. It's been a while since I've printed something, actually. But what it does here is it puts it on this unique landing page that lets us use the Chrome extension. So if I click that there, and I can just start highlighting whatever I want. So maybe, you know, I want the subject line of the email. I want who it was sent from and maybe the contact, content of the email. And that's it. You know, if you want to add a description, actually, you could. That that might actually be a good thing. So if this was a to-do list, let's pretend this was a to-do list. I'll make my to-do list. I actually haven't tried this yet. Let me see if this works. Send sample to email. That's my fake to-do list item. So we'll see what that looks like. Let's go back into my reflect notes here, where I am on my daily note. And here we've got it under the saved link at the top. And if I click on that, Okay, so my checkbox didn't work. So I'd have to manually add that if I wanted it as a task. I could, oh, add to the description as a checklist. Oh, right, because it's already a bullet. Okay, so if you wanted an actual checklist item, you'd have to manually add it here. That will happen automatically through the description there. But you can see I have everything else that I've highlighted here. And the title is by default. That's the saved email from Reflect. So, you know, I would maybe take the subject line and just replace the title with that. So... It will take a little bit of maintenance. And I guess this makes me realize that another difference between these two solutions is that when you use the Chrome extension, it's going to put it as a saved link here. Although, you know, you could change this to like a, a checklist and now it's a to-do list item that is linked to the page with all the contacts, which is kind of nice. But it, you can't actually append to the daily note through this method because it, do, it does use the Chrome extension and the Chrome extension will put the link on the daily note, but it won't append the text as you will now see with the Zapier one. So this is the Chrome extension. Literally the only thing you need to do is if you're using Gmail, that is, uh, is to, you know, install the Chrome extension in any email that you want to save, just click on the print button. You'll have to actually cancel out of this print page. And if you're not using Gmail, they should all have a page that this will work on if you use it in Chrome, whether you're using, you know, Outlook or whatever it is. So that's method number one, using the Chrome extension to save emails to reflect. So now let's cover the Zapier one. And even though this one takes a little bit of setup, I actually think it's more interesting because you can actually send the emails to reflect without having to do anything extra. So, you know, you could just be on a train doing email on your phone. And if there is an important email, then, you know, you can just forward it into Reflect. So I'm now going to set this up and I'll set up a new one from scratch so that you can see how. Okay, so I'm going to try their AI thing here. So let's say when I forward an email to a Zapier email address, it gets saved into Reflect. 
I'll see if that works here. And I will say their new AI thing here is pretty cool. This was definitely the, the most friction was figuring out how to kind of get that initial setup. And now look, it just does it for it. So it's got me a template set up so I can just go ahead and try it. And let's get going here. So, you know, just like with any other normals app, you're going to have to go through and set up both the trigger and the actual action. So here I'll just put it Sam as to see here and, and I can copy that. You should make sure you copy it and save it. So maybe just in case I need it later in this example, I'll save it right there. And again, don't try forwarding anything to that email because I'm not going to actually turn this on. But let's click continue and we'll do a test. Let's try and test the trigger. Oh, no new inbounds found. So first, what I'm going to need to do is go back into my email here and we will actually send a test email to this account. Just put some filler stuff there. Whoops. Okay. We will send that. Message sent. Let's see if it's instant. Might take a couple tries. There we go. That probably took, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds for that email to come through. And it's the only one I've sent to this address so far. You can kind of ignore all of this raw information. You don't really need it. All that's important. Finds an email. And we can click continue. And then you're just going to log into your Reflect account like normal. This looks like the one I've been using for my demo videos. So I'll click continue. And now this is the fun part. And this is, you know, kind of up to you what it what it actually says. So for the note subject, which in this case is going to be the title of the note, if you add it as a new note, uh, I'm going to click the subject line, probably. I think that seems the, the most likely. You know, if you wanted to, you could title it like email from Reflect, um, especially if you were going to append to the daily notes. So actually, you guys should try that. Or yeah, note from email. We'll try that. And then for the actual content of the email, you know, you can kind of search. Maybe then you want the subject line and then after it, the contents of the email and maybe who is from. I don't know. You can select whatever you want there. It will appear in that order. Uh, you can leave this blank if you don't want it pinned. I can't imagine you would want to automatically pin anything. And then you're just going to put in your graph ID here. You'll have to type it in manually. And then we'll click continue. And that kind of gives you a little bit of a preview. And we'll test it. And if it works, it should send uh, a note into Reflect. So let's go see what it looks like. Looks like I don't have anything come in yet. So let me give it a second. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I have it set up as a new note. So, you know, we've got my title and the text. Super, super basic. As you can see, one of the benefits of using this is it's a much cleaner note because it doesn't come in as a saved link. So if you just want a basic note, you can change it to this. But you could also go in and, uh, you know, edit what happens in the action. How do I get back over there? There we go. So let's say, I obviously, I guess you could choose the actual kind of text changes. So maybe you want to put the subject line, like I said, as the title of the note or something, but you're kind of play around with it and see what you actually want it to do. This is the other thing I was going to show you. You could also have it pinned to the daily note. So let me change it to that really quickly. And let me try and what do I want it to say if it append? We'll have the subject line be the title. And for the date, we'll just say current day to put it in for the email. I'll leave the list name blank and I still need to put in my graph ID. And so let's see when we run this, if it works and what it'll look like. Okay, it says a daily note was sent. So let me go look at our daily note and boom, there we go. So that you can see, it would be much nicer if you just wanted this as like a to-do list item. And then I can just use command return and add it to a checkbox and I'm ready to go. So I know that one takes a little bit of a set, but it's honestly a little bit preferred for me because it's just cleaner. So I just have my email saved and I can just kind of put it in there. Now I have it memorized and I can send anything to reflect over email. So if you want to save emails into reflect, there's two ways to do it. I'd recommend trying them both.